yeah good evening everyone uh, i give an introduction to jdbc uh, i'll ask some questions give me answer uh, jdbc full form java database connectivity uh, online students is my voice is clear just respond in chat box okay uh, see jdbc full form java database connectivity uh, jdbc definition it is a specification for developing database applications with java programming language okay it is a specification for developing database application with java programming language what is specification not completed i have to teach what is specification not completed uh, what is database application? An application that communicates with database is called as database application. Uh, what is application? Program in which we interact with on the desktop. Uh, what is database? It is organized collection of data. What the uh, how the, uh, how the data organized in the form of tables? Uh, what table contains fields and records? Table contains fields and records. Okay. Uh, say whenever you install database software, how many parts installed? Two parts. What are those? Uh, example of database application. SQL prompt. Example of database Oracle. Application communicating with database by using which language? SQL. SQL full form structured query language. Will it database understands uh, Java? No. Database doesn't know Java. Database can understand SQL. Okay. Uh, Oracle is a language or database Database. SQL is a language. MySQL is a MS SQL server. Clear no? Uh, all databases can understand only one language. That is SQL. Okay. All databases can understand only one language. That is SQL. Applications are communicating with databases by using SQL. That is structured query language. It is compulsory for all databases. Okay. Uh, Application is a front end or back end. Database is back end. Uh, suppose I'll open here SQL prompt. Uh, now this SQL prompt I'll open. Uh, see, it is SQL star plus or SQL prompt. Connect. Uh, enter username system. Enter password manager. Uh, connected. Now, is it application or database? What is this? Application. It is connected to database. It is connected to database. Uh, it is front end or back end? Uh, database is back end. Back side database. This application communicating with Oracle database by using which language? SQL. Okay. Uh, application, language, database. Is it clear? Uh, no. Application is a client or server. Application is a client. Uh, database is a server. What is a client? Which sends a request to server to get the response. Uh, what is server? Receives the request. Process the request. Constructs the response. Sends the response back to a client. Uh, that is server. Okay. Uh, now, application and database. Application is a software. Database is a software. 
these two software connected with one more software that software is called driver that software is called driver how many categories of drivers are there two categories what are those odbc drivers jdbc drivers uh, odbc full form open database connectivity uh, all odbc drivers are the part of odbc tool odbc tool uh, every day odbc drivers one driver or many drivers many drivers every database one separate driver was there uh, non java applications uses odbc drivers to connect to a database but when java came same style they connected that connection failed that is explained yesterday i stopped it uh, that is i'll continue now uh, see yesterday one diagram i given yesterday one diagram i given that diagram i'll open Uh, say it's on diagram uh, now here in this diagram you observe non java applications other than java before java language before java language also so many languages were exist c c++ small talk arda simula vb so many languages were there uh, non java applications what they did is they connected to odbc tool in that tool there are so many drivers according to their requirement they selected one driver with that they connected to particular database uh, see non java applications they connected to odbc tool uh, here odbc if you type here odbc data sources 32 bit odbc data sources 64 bit like that two dialog boxes comes uh, it is comes with windows operating system only uh, if you click add button here these are called drivers these are called drivers okay uh, here in this diagram what they did another non java other than java these all they connected to odbc tool uh, like this they connected after connecting uh, they selected like this suppose microsoft odbc for oracle uh, that means this is selected they connected to oracle database that like is connected now what will happen once if the connection is established uh, now suppose these two connected these two connected uh, this is also connected this is also connected uh, this is also connected now they can perform task uh, see whatever sql query you are sending from this application that query transferred like this to database that query executed here that output transferred here again it will come back to application so this data traveled from here to here through driver you are typing sql query in java program that sql query passed to database executed that output comes to uh, non java non java application like this data traveled again response comes same style like this back like this they did okay they did like this after few days java came after few days java came then what they did same style non java plus java now uh, they used java java application java application they connected to odbc tool and here they selected one driver they connected but connection failed here only then one translator developed what translator will do it takes sql query from java that is converts into odbc understandable format then connection established program executed successfully running but main disadvantage of translator time consuming that is the reason this this translator outdated new type of drivers these all introduced in the market then java people they stopped odbc 
because translation it takes time in internet one second also people are not waiting but translation all those things means it will take time that site may be outdated uh, that is the reason instead of developing new java they developed new drivers yesterday one example i given okay prime minister and uh, audience that is example i given no uh, like prime minister giving a speech in english but audience are not understanding uh, total how many solutions are there three uh, what are those one is translator next one prime minister should learn telugu uh, next one audience should learn english uh, in three solutions like first solution immediate solution translator immediately prime minister cannot learn telugu audience cannot learn english that is immediate solution translator that's what year also first immediate solution translator developed but after few days this translator outdated reason new drivers came see suppose initially prime minister came and he started speech in english audience are not understood now uh, they want translator they called trans with the translation that situation solved next visit of prime minister maybe after one month after two months a uh, few audience learn english assume few audience learn english still translator required or not required required few people only learn i said uh, required again one more visit 50% people learn english again required or not required uh, next visit all people learn english not required even if they come translator also they won't allow after learning okay uh, so after learning all people translator is not required even translator comes also they won't accept uh, so after getting all new drivers this translator outdated but translator also driver new drivers also drivers that means this translator is one jdbc driver these are also jdbc drivers after getting new concepts these all outdated they stop to use uh, that's what odbc programs no need to learn 2014 only outdated 9 years back even jdbc related odbc driver that is removed from java software also not possible to write program writing possible connection not possible you cannot execute the software also removed from java software the driver software also removed from java that's what not possible that is no need to learn only theory you have to learn only theory that theory i'm i'm going to give okay uh, now when java came and exists in the market same style java and odbc database they connected connection field okay java applications and database they connected with odbc they connected same style they connected but connection failed because there was no compatibility between java and odbc uh, first that point note down whenever java came and exist yesterday continuation only whenever java came and exist then they connected java application and database by using odbc driver but connection failed because there was no compatibility between java and odbc uh whenever java came and exist then they connected java application and database by using odbc driver but connection failed because there was no compatibility between java and odbc
there was no compatibility between Java and ODBC. So, before Java, non-Java and databases, they connected with ODBC. Before Java, non-Java, they connected with ODBC. But when Java came and exists in the market, when Java came and exists in the market, then what they did is same style they connected. Same style they connected. But connection failed because there was no compatibility between Java and ODBC. Okay. Uh, here, connection failed here only. Here only connection failed. To solve this problem, JDBC drivers were introduced. Okay. Uh, now, next node. To solve the above problem, GDBC drivers were introduced. To solve the above problem, GDBC drivers were introduced. Uh, there are four types of JDBC drivers. First one, type 1 driver, GDBC, ODBC, bridge driver. Second one, type 2 driver, GDBC, native API driver. Third one, type 3 driver, JDBC, net pure Java driver or net pure uh, network protocol driver. Fourth one, type 4 driver, JDBC, native protocol driver. To solve the above problem, JDBC drivers were introduced. There are four types of JDBC drivers. First one, type 1 driver, JDBC, ODBC, bridge driver. Second one, type 2 driver, JDBC, native API driver. These all many names are there. I'll explain. Thin driver, this is only. 100% pure Java driver, this is only. Net pure Java driver, this is only. Uh, so, different companies, different names they given. I'll explain. First, as it is write it, I'll explain. Thin driver. Uh, one minute, wait. Uh, see, there are four types of JDBC drivers, type 1 driver, type 2 driver, type 3 driver, type 4 driver. These names, many are there. I'll explain. Uh, just as it is write it now. Uh, is it over? Writing is over? Uh, now, see, whenever Java came and exist, then they connected Java application and database by using ODBC driver. But connection failed because there was no compatibility between Java and ODBC. So starting, starting, when Java came and exists in the market, same style, same style, they connected. Okay, same style, they connected. But connection failed here. Connection failed here. There was no compatibility between Java and ODBC. Uh, that is the reason these drivers came and exist in the market. These drivers. To solve the above problem, J 
JDBC drivers were introduced. There are four types of JDBC drivers. One, two, three, four. As compared to names, number is important. Why? I'll explain. Why? I'll explain. Uh, now, now, type 1 driver, type 2 driver, type 3 driver, type 4 driver. Uh, what are these? How to uh, use? I'll explain. Uh, next, there is no done. There are two ways. There are two ways to connect Java application and database. There are two ways to connect Java application and database. First one, by using JDBC and ODBC drivers. Second one, by using JDBC drivers only. First one, by using JDBC and ODBC drivers. Second one, by using JDBC drivers only. There are two ways to connect Java application and database. First one, JDB by using JDBC and ODBC drivers. Second one, by using JDBC drivers only. Uh, see, initially they connected same like a non-Java style, but connection failed. One minute. Online student, just one minute, wait.
uh, say by using jd there are say first of all non java they connected like this when java came and existed in the market same style they connected connection failed there was no compatibility between these two that is the reason java jdbc drivers came but these jdbc drivers also four types are there four types uh, what's the difference i'll explain uh, there are two ways to connect java application and database by using jdbc and odbc driver second one by using jdbc only by using jdbc driver uh, this diagram i'll explain say Uh, see, uh, there are two ways to connect Java application and database. One is by using JDBC and ODBC driver. Second one, only JDBC driver. Uh, here, Java application uh, database java application and database uh, it can be any database uh, now here jdbc odbc uh, that is one way one more only jdbc jdbc driver Uh, one more ODBC driver. Uh, here, JDBC driver. Uh, write this one, write this diagram. Uh, this is type 1 driver or uh, type 2 driver or type 4 driver. Uh, this is type 1 driver. Uh, there are two ways to connect Java application and database. First one by using JDBC and ODBC drivers. Second one by using JDBC drivers only.
just as it is write it type 3 i didn't include here type 3 separate i'll give There are two ways to connect Java application and database. First one by using JDBC and ODBC drivers. Second one by using JDBC drivers only. Uh, is it over? Uh, now, I'll ask some questions. Give me answer. Can we connect Java application and database by using only ODBC drivers? No, it is not possible. Can we connect Java application and database by using only JDBC driver? Yes. Uh, which type driver required? Type 2 or type 4? Okay. Uh, can we connect? Java application and database by using JDBC and ODBC. Yes. Then which type JDBC required? Type 1 required. Uh, can we connect Java application and database by using JDBC type 1 driver without using ODBC? No. Okay. Without using ODBC, not possible. You are using type 1, then ODBC compulsory. You are using ODBC then type 1 compulsory. But in the year, you cannot replace. Not possible. You are using ODBC. Then type 1 required. You are using uh, JDBC. Only JDBC. It should be either type 2 or type 4. Here, type 1 place, type 2 you cannot write. You cannot use. Here, while using type 2, you should not use ODBC. Not possible. You are using ODBC. Uh, then which type JDBC required? Type 1 required. Okay. You are using type 1. Is it ODBC compulsory? Yes, compulsory. Okay. This type 1 only translator. Type translator also driver. Translator also driver. Okay. Uh, now, here type 1 driver, type 2 driver, this type 3 driver. It is a little bit confusion will be there. I will give a clarity everything. Each and every driver, complete information I'll provide. In an interview, if they ask questions from JDBC, definitely they'll ask questions from JDBC drivers only. Because confusion question. Always remember, confusion questions only, interview questions. Complicated questions only, interview question. Okay? That is only they'll ask. On that only, you have to focus more. Okay? Uh, now, here, in this diagram, you have seen, in this diagram, first like this came, uh, then translator came, I said, no, that is nothing but type 1 driver. Uh, now, can we connect Java application and database without using JDBC driver? Without JDBC driver? No, compulsory JDBC driver required. Either 1 or 2 or 3 or 4, compulsory required. Without using JDBC driver, connection is not possible. Okay. Uh, now, driver is, JDBC driver is mandatory. JDBC driver is mandatory. Uh, now, JDBC driver is man mandatory. Uh, now, now you will understand what is specification. Uh, now, no, no, specification. A specification 
is a set of rules and guidelines that are used to develop applications and environments a specification is a set of rules and guidelines that are used to develop applications and environments a specification is a set of rules and guidelines that are used to develop applications and environments A specification is a set of rules and guidelines that are used to develop applications and environments. A specification is a set of rules and guidelines that are used to develop applications and environments. So what exactly specification? Uh, one concept I'll explain. Listen with concentration. Because in advanced Java, every topic specification only. Now, JDBC is a language. Is it language? JDBC? No. JDBC is a specification. Java is a language. JDBC is not a language. Next topic, Solids specification. Next topic, JSP specification. So, those all specification. Solid also specification, JSP also specification, JDBC also specification. So you should know what exactly specification. Uh, see, I given specification. Uh, suppose it is specification. In short, we'll call it as spec also. Specification. Uh, see, specification here, rules and guidelines. Rules and guidelines will be there. Uh, suppose for understanding purpose, one rule. Even Java language also specification. Java programming language also one specification. That one also contains rules and guidelines. Uh, for example, for example, you studied core Java. Uh, in core Java, every statement must be terminated with semicolon. It is compulsory, no? Uh, if you don't write semicolon, will it compile? No, uh, that is rule. That is rule. Okay. Uh, guideline. What a guideline? I'll explain. Uh, you studied how many types of variables are there in Java? Three types. Uh, what are those? Instance variables, class variables, local variables. Okay. Uh, what is instance variable? Member of a class. What is class variable? Static member of a class. What is local variable? Inside a method. Inside a method. Uh, when memory allocated to instance variable? Whenever object is created. Uh, when memory allocated to class variable? Whenever class is loaded. Uh, when memory allocated to local variable? Whenever method is called. Instance variable in which memory block stored? Heap area. Class variables. Method area. Local variable. Stack area. Instance variable. Heap area. Class variables. Method area. Local variable. Stack area. How many ways to access instance variable? Two ways. What are those? Object, object reference. How many ways to access class variable? Four ways. What are those? Directly. Class name. Object, object reference. How many ways not recommended? Two ways. What are those? Object, object reference. But when we have to use directly? Same class. When we have to use class name? Another class. How many ways to access local variable? One way. That is directly. Uh, see. Well, uh, when, when we have to use instance variable in Java programming? If the value is different, when we have to use class variable, if the value is same, when we have to use local variable to perform the task, suppose employee number, which variable required? Instance variable. Name of the employee. Address of the employee. Mobile number. Mail ID. Company name. 
What is that? Class variable. Student roll number. Name of the student. Address of the student. Call a name. Class variable. Uh, university name. Class variable. C language marks. Instance variable. C++ marks. Java marks. Total marks. What is that? Local variable. Task is there. You have to calculate. C, C plus Java. Okay. Uh, what is the life of instance variable? Life, object. As long as object is there in memory, that is there. Class variable? Class. Local variable? Method. Block variable? Block. What is the scope of instance variable? Based on access modifiers. What is scope of class variable? Based on access modifiers. What is scope of local variable? Within the method only. Limited to method only. Okay. Block variable? Limited to block only. Ah, these are called guidelines. About variables only asked. But about methods, about constructors. So many guidelines are there, no? Ah, suppose. Employee number, which variable? Uh, by mistake, if you write class variable, will it compile or not compile? Compiles. But then what will happen? Wrong output comes. Uh, suppose company name, which variable required? Class variable. By mistake, if you write a, a instance variable, will it compile or not? Compiles. But memory, memory wasted. Instance variable is class variable, class variable is instance variable, if you write, many problems will occur. That is called guideline. Rule, compulsory you have to follow. Guideline, if you don't follow, logical errors comes, wrong output comes. Okay? Uh, see, it is one specification. Specification means set of rules and guidelines. Uh, it is a specification which contains rules and guidelines. Okay? Rules and guidelines. Uh, see, it is a specification. Some rules are there. Guidelines are there. Uh, now, rules and guidelines are present in this specification. Uh, one rule. Every statement must be terminated with semicolon. It is a rule. Employee number, instance variable required. It is guideline. Okay? It is guideline. Company name, class variable required. Guideline. If the value is different, instance variable required. If the value is same, class variable required. That is guideline. Uh, rules, guidelines given. Uh, according to these rules and guidelines, here, Java compiler software developed. Java compiler software developed. According to rules and guidelines, you have tried Java program. You have tried Java program. Then, if according to rules and guidelines is there, it is successfully compiled under compiler software. Suppose, if any rule is missed, will it compile your program? No. Rule, rule only, you must to follow. Compulsory. Guidelines, if you don't follow, wrong output comes. Wrong output comes. Or memory wasted. But rule, you must to follow. Uh, see, suppose every statement must be terminated with semicolon. Uh, now, suppose one programmer, he doesn't, to want, he doesn't want to follow this rule. He wants to write colon. What he'll think is semicolon, colon, little bit different appears. Uh, he wants to write colon only. Uh, is it possible? No. Here, semicolon, semicolon only or write. But semicolon api colon little bit difference appears but you must write semicolon line there is no other option okay uh, so every statement must be terminated with semicolon every statement must be terminated with semicolon 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 only you cannot write colon okay if you write colon your program will not compile uh, but one programmer it doesn't want to follow rules it is it possible no you must to follow here only two options are there. Either follow rules and guidelines or you develop compiler. Uh, can you develop compiler? Uh, then follow rules. That's it. Uh, so, 
according to rules and guidelines only this software developed according to rules and guidelines only this program you are right then this program under this software compile successfully if you don't follow it will not compile uh, now this is called specification who will use this specification who ever will develop compiler they will use who ever will write java program they will use so specification used by companies to develop compiler to develop jvm to develop java runtime environment to develop java development kit to develop just in time compiler so many things and who will use that specification java programmer also must use to write java program now here jdbc is a specification a specification is a set of rules and guidelines that are used to develop applications and environments uh, can you connect java application and database without using jdbc driver no that jdbc driver contains rules uh, the jdbc driver developed with jdbc specification what jdbc driver understands that type you have to write jdbc program that is jdbc so if you want to develop application if you want to develop application that application if you want to connect to a database the application if you want to connect to a database this application if you want to connect to a database this application must to follow jdbc rules and guidelines for developing this application language also required that is core java jdbc is advanced java so writing program purpose language basics required writing program purpose rules and guidelines required rules and guidelines only you are learning in advanced java but uh, language you already studied ah uh, that is this is will mix will develop application that's it ah uh, is it clear what exactly jdbc uh, no no don jdbc specification used by vendors jdbc specification used by vendors to develop jdbc specification used by vendors to develop jdbc drivers jdbc specification used by vendors to develop jdbc drivers and jdbc specification used by java programmers to develop database applications jdbc specification used by vendors to develop jdbc drivers and jdbc specification used by java programmers to develop database applications jdbc specification used by vendors to develop jdbc drivers and jdbc specification used by java programmers to develop database applications so jdbc nothing but specification what it contains rules and guidelines uh, seeing these rules and guidelines companies they develop drivers what you are going to do you are going to develop application uh, so then only your jdbc program you can run under jdbc driver otherwise not possible uh, that is specification so so many rules and guidelines will be there you must follow so you cannot write your own style so many rules guidelines will be there you must follow rules and guidelines to build application okay uh, whatever you studied in core java that is language whatever you are going to learn in advanced java jdbc specification rules and guidelines and language you apply build application then driver can understand but your own style if you develop not possible okay uh, now here first uh, here type 1 driver first introduced uh, this is nothing but translator it is outdated 
later these all one by one came now what is the difference they'll ask in interview now that is you have to learn i'll explain first of all type 1 driver we'll see today now no done type 1 jdb type 1 driver jdbc odbc bridge driver type 1 driver jdbc odbc bridge driver type 1 driver jdbc odbc bridge driver uh, now type 1 driver diagram i'll explain type 1 driver diagram first uh, you observe uh, in this only i'll add first this is introduced okay uh, it is outdated because your connection failed your connection failed uh, then what is introduced jdbc driver jdbc driver uh, this is type 1 driver uh, write this complete diagram complete diagram write it it is compulsory otherwise you will get a confusion this is type 1 JDBC driver. Ready, son? Now, seeing the diagram, give me answer. Type 1 driver, is it one driver or many drivers? One driver or many drivers? One driver. Uh, ODBC drivers? Many drivers. That purpose. Okay, write that one.
Now, uh, is it completed? Uh, now, can we connect Java application and database by using only ODBC? No, it is not possible. Okay. Can we connect Java application and database by using only JDBC? Yes. Uh, that is which type driver? Type 2 driver or type 4 driver? Can we connect Java application and database by using JDBC and ODBC? Yes. Then which type JDBC driver required? Type 1 required. Uh, if you want to use type 1, is it ODBC compulsory? Yes. If you want to use ODBC, is it JDBC type 1 compulsory? Yes. You cannot use other. Type 1 only you have to use. If you are using ODBC means type 1. If you are using type 1 means ODBC. Okay. Uh, now, type 3, I didn't include. I'll explain. Uh, how many ways are there to connect Java application and database? How many ways are there to connect Java application and database? Two ways. What are those? By using JDBC and ODBC drivers. Uh, second one, by using only JDBC drivers. Okay. Uh, now, now you are learning uh, by using JDBC, ODBC. Uh, by using JDBC, ODBC means which JDBC required? Type 1 required. Uh, that is your learning. Type 1 driver, is it one driver or many drivers? One driver. ODBC drivers, one or many? Many drivers. Uh, now, I'll explain. Uh, next point, note on. After diagram, next point. All JDBC drivers are classes in Java. 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 Uh, now, type 1 also, type 2 also, type 3 also, type 4 also, all are classes. So, drivers are nothing but one Java class. Okay. Uh, now, type 1 driver, type 1 JDBC driver class name. Type 1 JDBC driver class name. Sun dot JDBC dot ODBC dot JDBC ODBC driver. Not on. The name like that only. Sun dot JDBC dot ODBC dot JDBC ODBC driver. Sun dot JDBC dot ODBC dot JDBC ODBC driver. Type 1 JDBC driver class name. Okay. So it is a package. These are sub packages. It is a class name. Package. Sub packages. It is a class name. Type 1 JDBC driver class name. Sun dot JDBC dot ODBC dot JDBC ODBC driver. Sun is a package. JDBC ODBC sub packages. JDBC ODBC driver class name. Uh, say it is a package name like a java.lang, java.util, like that you studied, no? That type. Sun is a package name. J ODB, JDBC, ODBC, sub packages. This is a class. Each word, first letter, capital. J capital, O capital, D capital. Each word, first letter, capital for classes and interfaces. You studied. Uh, this is. Okay. 
ನಾವು ನೋಡು ದಿಸ್ ಡ್ರೈವರ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಜಾವಾ ಸಾಫ್ಟ್ವೇರ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ಜಾವಾ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಕಿಟ್ this driver is a part of java software java development kit this driver is a part of java software this driver is a part of java software it is java development kit on uh, just note note type 1 jdbc driver removed from jdk 1.8 onwards note type 1 jdbc driver removed from jdk 1.8 onwards so 1.8 onwards type 1 driver is not there it is removed outdated ah uh, why it is outdated uh, i have to explain and uh, now node type 1 jdbc driver architecture type 1 jdbc driver architecture type 1 jdbc driver architecture uh, now why this driver outdated i'll explain ah uh, is it or ah uh, see java application application code type 1 jdbc driver jdbc odbc bridge driver here odbc tool ah uh, here note on this one odbc driver
so type 1 jdbc driver name is jdbc odbc bridge driver also will call driver class name is sun.jdbc.odbc.jdbcodbc driver driver class name normal driver name Type 1 driver program I am not explaining because it is outdated. No need to learn. It is outdated. 2014 only outdated. 9 years back only. Okay. 9 years back only outdated. That is what no need to learn. Type 2 onwards program I will give. Uh, is it over? Uh, see, it is Java application. Nothing but Java program. Whatever we are going to write, that is program. Uh, here, some code will write. Class, main method, something will write. No, that code. Uh, Java application contains some code. That is called application code. In that application code only, type 1 driver is one class. Will load. How to load? I'll show you in the programming. Uh, Let like this driver loaded. This driver connected to ODBC tool. Uh, ODBC tool software is, you know, that software dialog box. Uh, it is outdated, no need to learn. Uh, this tool contains drivers. You can select the driver, uh, then connected. So, like this will connect. Uh, here, whatever application passing instruction, that instruction passed to database, Pro JDBC driver and ODBC driver. That's what it takes time. More time. Time consuming. With this reason only, it is outdated. Okay. Uh, now, type 1 JDBC driver, is it one driver or many drivers? One driver. ODBC drivers, many drivers. Uh, suppose this program I connected to Oracle database. Assume. This program I connected to Oracle database by using type 1 JDBC driver and ODBC driver. I want to change the database. I want to change the database. Uh, is, it is it required to change JDBC driver? No. Is it required to change ODBC driver? Yes. But type 1 JDBC driver advantage that is this program no need to modify. Same driver. You can connect to other database also. Uh, now, no done. Advantages of type 1 driver. Advantages of type 1 JDBC driver. Only one driver that supports all ODBC enabled databases. Only one driver that supports all ODBC enabled databases. All only one driver that supports all ODBC enabled databases. That is advantage. Uh, disadvantages of type one driver. Uh, here, performance overhead since Java calls should go through via JDBC driver and ODBC driver. Performance overhead since Java calls should go through via JDBC driver and ODBC driver. So performance point of view, it is poor. Performance point of view, it is poor.
second one it is a platform in a platform dependent it is a platform dependent it is a platform dependent this is dependent because developed in c language Uh, now third one database client software odbc tool and odbc drivers or odbc software database client software needs to be installed on local system database client software needs to be installed on local system note type 1 driver developed in c language Type 1 driver developed in C language. Performance overhead since Java calls should go through via JDBC and ODBC drivers. It is a platform dependent. Database client software needs to be installed on local system. What is that? I'll explain. Type 1 driver developed in C language. Say, how many advantages are there? Just one. If you want to change the database, is it required to change JDBC driver? No. That is advantage. Okay. Uh, disadvantage are three. First one, performance overhead since Java call should go through via JDBC and ODBC driver. Whatever you are passing SQL query, what will happen? First, JDBC driver will receive, converts into ODBC understandable format. Then again, pass it to ODBC driver. Then ODBC driver will hand over to database. This communication slow, performance poor. Uh, that is the reason this is disadvantage. Uh, it is developed in which language? Uh, C language platform dependent. No, uh, this driver is platform dependent. Uh, database client software needs to be installed on local system. Suppose five computers are there. Uh, five computers are there. Uh, five computers connected together. Uh, five computers connected together. Suppose Database I'll install in this computer. Java program I'll write in this computer. My Java program, this Java program, I want to connect to this system database. It is possible. But first ODBC require no? the ODBC software you have to install here. With that possible. Suppose this Java application, your Java application is there. This one, if you want to connect to this system database. Here also ODBC out install. Suppose in this computer, Java application is there. This one, if you want to connect to this database. Again, here also JDB, uh, ODBC software you have to install. Suppose 200 computers are there in network. Uh, in how many systems you have to install ODBC? 200 computers you have to install. And 200 computers you have to configure. Then communication possible. That is disadvantage. Database client software needs to be installed on local system. Your system is called local system. Other system is called remote system. Uh, in remote system database, if you want to access from local system, ODBC, you have to install in your computer. But like this, 200 computers are there. In every computer, you have to install. That is burden to administrator. As well as configuration required for programmer. That is also burden to programmer. These are disadvantages.
Uh, no, advantage or more or disadvantage or more. No, uh, that is the reason outdated. That is the reason outdated. Okay. Uh, type one driver program no need to learn. It is outdated. Leave it. Now these all you have to learn. Uh, that is I'll explain tomorrow. Tomorrow advantage of first program you are going to see. Okay. Advantage of first program you are going to see with the type two driver. Tomorrow first program you are going to see. Uh, prepare and come. Core Java preparation. Uh, prepare and come. Abstract class, interface, abstract method. These all required. You prepare and come. Okay. Uh, we'll see continuation tomorrow. Uh, online student, just wait two minutes. I'll clarify your. Uh, online students. Padmanabha Raju, a drive JDBC is a specification, rules and guidelines.
వినాయక రెడ్ వినాయక దట్ ఈస్ జీడిబిసి జాబా అప్లికేషన్ అండ్ ఓడిబిసి జాబా అప్లికేషన్ ఇన్స్ట్రక్షన్ ఓడిబిసి కె నాట్ అండర్స్టాండ్ దట్ ఈస్ ద రీజన్ జేడిబిసి డ్రైవర్ ఇంట్రడ్యూస్డ్ జిహెచ్ జి 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 డెమో లింక్స్ ప్రజెంట్ ఇన్ ద చాట్ బాక్స్ యూ కెన్ టేక్ మొహమ్మద్ తహా టుమో టుడేస్ టుమారో ఆర్ టుడే యూఆర్ ఆస్కింగ్ టుమారో మే బీ సేమ్ లింక్ జయ్ కుమార్ టుడేస్ రికార్డింగ్ టుమారో విల్ గెట్ ఇట్ Vinayaka, two months it will take. And A, instead of writing and A, you can write your name, no? It is better, no? Daily you are writing like that only. Uh, notes, you have to wait. Four or five days you have to wait. They will give Google Drive, then I will upload. Jay Kumar, previous recordings already shared in chart box. Here also is there, screen. You can copy. Sai, you need to wait. Shebaj, driver is part of Java software. Ajit Kumar, up to exception earning complete record. Manoj, yeah, it will be finished by before 720 only. No need to worry. KVNR, you need to wait for 4-5 days. Vinayaka, core Java up to exception handling knowledge or at least object-oriented programming knowledge required. Shankar, tomorrow I'll start programming. Uh, any other doubts? Now we'll see continuation tomorrow. Shabaj, what is your doubt? Install 21C. Okay, continue, not a problem. Vajim, Hibernate not included in Advan Java. No need to learn. Spring with integration, learn one application enough. GH, GG. Instead of writing these all different, different numbers, all those things, names you can write, no? GH, GG, G, like that. If you're instead of nine num phone numbers, instead of phone number, you can write your name, no? Which is hard to getting a job means complete subject you have to get first. Surviving knowledge, surviving also knowledge required, getting job also knowledge required. Spring, Spring Boot introduction will not be covered in this batch. That is Spring separate class will be there. Now we'll see continuation tomorrow. Those are not covered in this course. That is separate batch is there. 
in a full stack java spring also is there subhash it is comes under development security operations kubernetes now any other doubt now we'll see continuation